They love it. Kids absolutely love it. They're like, that looks like me. Her hair looks like mine. It's, in, it's incredibly important. Positive representation. It's a special effort WRTV first showed you last year as it got its footing. Now the Black World Schoolers Mobile Bookstore is on a mission to have an impact like the next Reading Rainbow for all in our community. And it's the perfect store to celebrate International Literacy Day. Like the ice cream truck, you can hear it and see it coming. Kids flock to this mobile bookstore when it shows up at different events around Indiana. Just sit back and read and find some books you've never seen before. They're the best, okay? Come on. Natalie Pipkin started Black World Schoolers Mobile Bookstore. The smiles and the dances say it all. It gets wild in here, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, wild. it's a hit because it's a first of its kind in our region. The mobile bookstore brings all black books directly to you. When you step on board the bus, children pick out books and buckle in to read. And they have the option to put the book back on the shelves or buy it and take it home. Thank you, dear. It's a family affair with Natalie's kids helping her run the business too. Natalie says this dream started with her kids asking why they didn't see many black books and learn much black history in school. Well, it's the same thing that my grandparents went through, same thing my mother and father went through, and then it was me, and now my children were still experiencing. So Natalie made it her mission to share the black stories that weren't being told. So many stories, there's not enough space on the shelves. Try to straighten it up right here a little bit. And they must switch out books based on where they go. The mobile bookstore partners with whomever asks them to show up. Uh, paper, scissors, shoe! <laughs> and that includes Circle City Prep School. Long lines and reaction speak for themselves. They have a, a, a bus books. <laughs> It looks very nice. <laughs> I would love to see it at every school, yeah. all schools, not just in black neighborhoods, all schools. I love this because it's mobile. The mobility puts children behind the wheel of their own learning. The books are amazing. Just ask them what they think. I just want to thank my mom because she let me come here. I like how I can see other people that look like me. Administrators and teachers see this bookstore filling a need. Uh, we serve an under uh, underserved population. It provides students the chance to see themselves represented in literature. It's the difference between a kid saying, hey, I actually love to read, and a kid being like, I'm not interested. What happens if they don't read? <laughs> Every single thing you do in life has to do with reading. Now the mobile bookstore approach hopes to increase literacy beyond the state test scores. Have you introduced them to stories that could change their lives? Have you introduced them to stories that they love? Have you helped them fall in love with reading before you judge can they read or not? These stories show all kinds of books displaying the beauty, humanity, and history of black people. It's a story that often goes unshared. What about responsible representation, positive representation? The representation has to be responsible. Books create a window for all people to step into a new world. So let's create the world you want to see. Oh, we don't have to wait. Create. That's what we did. <laughs> WRTV Shakira Harris first profiled this mobile bookstore one year ago when Natalie had just gotten the bus through a grant. It originally launched online in December 2020. These days, the bookstore travels all around. You can follow them on social media to see where its next stop is. Find them on Instagram at Black World Schoolers underscore bookstore.